Hey guys, so today we're making a customized fridge magnet for a client of ours and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create it out of Perspex and it's going to be A3 size and we're going to divide it from Monday to Sunday and uh, we're going to use the CO2 laser. So let's get to it. And as always guys, first things first, we start with the design. So let's get into it. I created this design in Photoshop. I then imported it into AR, vectorized it and then we brought it into Audiworks. Now with Audiworks, you need to make sure that whatever you're cutting or engraving is selected to a certain color. So what we're doing, we're not cutting on this one because we already have Perspex that's at the size that we want, which is A3. And all I'm gonna do now is select it, select the color, and you'll see on the top right hand section there, it says now laser cut, we need to change that to scan. Now that the scan is done, we need to make sure that the speed is set to 330 mils per second and the max power output is 30 over here. Once that's done, we're going to say OK. We must just remember that we're going to mirror it. So there's an icon on the left hand side that looks like two triangles facing face to face. We're going to select that and as you can see, it's inverted the whole image. So everything looks backwards. And with that done, it's off to the laser cutter. And once the engraving is done, it's just a matter of removing the backing tape, giving it a quick wipe down and glue the magnets on. And it's done. And now a quick test. All looks good. Now, let's just go pop it onto the fridge. There you go, guys. So nice. Came out really well. It was easy. It was simple. I hope you guys learned something from this video. And we'll catch you in the next one.